welcome back to my channel how are you all doing you're welcome back to my kitchen how are you thank you so much for coming and thank you for all your love and your support from my last video i really appreciate you all thank you so much so in today's video is another cooking 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 but i'm not going to be speaking yoruba in this it's just english because i remember i asked you guys in that video um cooking Buka stew, wearing husband favorites, outfits, I believe that was the title, you know. And I asked you guys, you should send me a comment if you want me to be doing a video like that. And I think two or two, I got about two comments saying once a while I should be doing it, okay. So I'm not going to be doing it in this video. If I'm talking and I speak Yoruba, that means that was a mistake, okay. Yeah, but you know, this is my dialect, that it can be that bad right guys right so i'll be cooking husband favorite meal looking sexy and you guys see ah! oh. <laughs> i thought of the light ah! so i'm cooking my husband favorite food and i'm gonna be looking sexy what do you guys think sexy so let me just quickly tell you my outfit so this outfit is made um it was gift to me from my loved one um the first time i went to nigeria in 2012 my one of my husband nephew bought this material for me six yard yeah and i gave it to my sister-in-law yes my sister-in-law my brother my brother's wife so this this style for me for free of charge so I had it since then and I really appreciate them for their love to my life so you guys you've seen me wearing this material before on this channel I've wear it occasionally uh, accountable I normally wear it a lot on this channel so you guys should be familiar with the materials right right and this gele this gele guess what I'm very bad at putting on gele I don't know how to put on gele my daughter do this gele for me like I don't know where, how, 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 like how, 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 how. A 13 year old that was born in this country, that was raised up in this country, can tie gele better. I have no idea how to tie gele. I was just struggling with the gele. And I remember that we before I had one channel, now I changed it to Janet Ubeji's family. It used to be Eniola and Mama Eniola. So we used to play drama there, comedy. I don't, I don't know whether I should call it comedy or drama. Sorry if I'm talking fast. Uh, and she used to put on gele nicely nicely i'm like where did you get i mean how did you know how to tie this gele she's like mommy i just did it and it turned out like this so she's very she got that she had that gift even though she wasn't born in nigeria she wasn't raised up in nigeria she doesn't live around people that wear gele <laughs> she doesn't live around people that tie gele she just have that gift and i believe that is from her father's family the gene is there you know the gene when you have the gene yeah so she put on this gele for me and this gele is not for me it's for my daughter the first time i took them to nigeria their auntie which is my husband's sister they dressed them the first time they wear nigerian clothes with gele and everything so i just use it <laughs> so uh yeah that's all about my outfit today okay i have so many so if you guys want to see any let me know let me know let me know okay so what are we cooking today we are cooking all this Can you guys see? I'm doing that so that I can take my thumbnail so that I can attract you guys to click on my video. So this is it. This is what I'll be cooking. So I have plantain, green plantain, yellow plantain. I have yam. I have this. Sorry, I forgot the name. You guys, leave me the name down the uh, comment section. But I, I know it's not like I don't know. I It's not just clicking here right now. It's not clicking. So I have ginger. I have garlic. I'll be using the whole garlic and I'll be using the whole ginger, but I'll be using the whole pepper and like half of the yam. And I think I'll be using all the plantain. So, this is what I'll be cooking. Husband's favorite. Like this soup, my husband loves it so much. And for the past few days, my husband said he can't taste, he can't really taste food. So, I believe maybe he wants to have cold or the weather, maybe he's exposing himself to the weather. So, I want to make that. And I'll be using fish. As you guys see earlier, I've washed my fish. 
I cut the fish myself because I just tell them to wash it. When you tell them to cut it, they just cut it to the shape of their own choice. So I don't want to cut it to the shape of my choice. So I just tell them to clean it. Even when I brought it home, I clean it and I cut it and I only season it with salt. Yeah, don't... The, the way I enjoy my fish these days in stew, in soup, or in pepper soup, whatever. When you want to season your fish, just season it with salt. Do not bother putting maggi, aromant, or rishi rishi seasoning. No, it doesn't work out like that. Just put salt. And whatever you are using to cook, make sure you put the maggi in the stew or rishi rishi seasoning. But if the salt, the fish itself, just season it with salt, you're good to go. So now, first thing I'm going to do, I have my pot. So that is my pot here. I'm going to be putting it on the cooker. So while the pot is on the cooker, I'm going to go and wash my peppers and I'm going to blend. This is my blender. And you guys see. So we are going to come to the, the sink area and do that. Okay. And I have a special song I want to sing for you guys because we all know it's new month, right? New month, new me. Ah. Okay. Now, let's start. So this one, I'm going to... This is so good. You guys, Have you ever tasted before? It's so good. Like, oh my days. Ooh la la. So I'm going to be using that. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you guys how everything is going to work out, okay? But first, let's go and clean our peppers, okay? Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go and clean. Let's go and clean our pepe. Let's go and clean our pepe. Let's go and clean our pepe. Let's go and clean up. Give me thumbs up if you like my outfit. Like, if I look sexy in this. Give me thumbs up. And let me see how many thumbs down I will have if I don't look so good in this. Like, seriously. If you give me thumbs down, that means you like this outfit. You want it, but you can't get it. <laughs> Abi, what's the reason why you give me thumbs down? I don't understand. Like, seriously. I don't understand. I don't understand. That must be the reason, right? Right. Let's start. It's a rainy one So this is my garlic. I only use two. I'm going to add it. And I also have my onions. I'm also going to peel my onions. So I'm going to go and blend. So this is my pepper, onions, garlic, ginger. What else? I think that's it. I'm going to pour it in the pot. <clears throat> nice and hot. So I'm going to add water. I'm going to pour it. Okay, so I'm going to close this to cook for about to cook for about 15 minutes. So while this is cooking, we are going to go and cut the yam and the plantain. Okay, and this is our fish. Our fish is ready. Let me clean the 
So I'm gonna put that there. So that is ready. So now let's go and concentrate on our yam and plantain. Okay, let's start. So we are going to start cutting our yam, as I said. So I'm just putting water in the bowl. So this is my yam I'm planting. And I have one half yam at home before. So I'm going to cut it before the new one. So I let me cut the plantain first. Should I cut the plantain first? Um, let me cut the yam first, because the yam is a bit messier. Let me bend this. into cubes as if you are making yam porridge and you guys see okay so now i'm going to cut from here and i'm going to put this up here this is where i keep my yam I'm going to rinse the yam because of the mud. And I'm going to soak it inside water so it doesn't go brown or yes, it doesn't change color. So I've rinsed it, I've soaked it inside the water. I'm going to leave that aside. I'm also going to wash the cutting board. Is it cutting board? Chopping, chopping board. I always call it cutting board. It's chopping board. Okay, so I'm going to be using, I don't know whether I should use the three. one i don't know whether i'll be using the three plantain if not i'll just use two this one is a bit ripe but it's still it's still very hard when you want to make this recipe make sure you don't use red plantain otherwise you will not enjoy it honestly i've used red plantain before we did not enjoy it in fact we just that day that we just had it the rest nobody eat it i end up throwing it in the bin but anytime i use like unripe plantain we enjoy it more 
and even though the plantain is ripe but it's not soft you know it's it's still hard but it's ripe you guys understand it's hard but it's ripe you can taste the sweetness but not that ripe 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 so <clears throat> yep that's it let me add more water okay so when that is ready it's ready <laughs> what what kind of language is that when that is ready is ready so this is it all the cubes is here the sauce is on the cooker cooking the fish is ready this is here. Let me drink my water. Lemon water. So now I'm going to use opportunity to clean this and cut it as well. Oh my days, it's so dirty. Why is it so muddy? Oh my days, it's so muddy. You won't be able to use this. So okay, this is all I can manage to get. So I'm going to cut it, not too small. So I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna put it. So can you see? That's that. I'm gonna leave that side. Then I'm going to tidy up my sink. So as you guys can see, everything is ready for me to start cooking. As you guys can see, my plantain, which I'm going to remove it from here. Trust me, guys. I'm going to be putting everything on top of the sink because I don't want it to cook while it's inside the water. I want it to be, to, want, we want it to cook inside the sauce, not like this. <laughs> it's not going to be funny, you know. So now, guys, look at me. I want to sing for you guys because, you know, I really appreciate you all. And it's new month. So happy new month, all. So uh, there's this song I love so much. I love so much, but it's a long time since I know the song. Um, sorry, I tried to look sexy. Whoa, whoa. It's a long time I've actually listened to the music. So it's just what I know for a long time ago, about 25 years ago now, to be honest with you guys. That song is that long, yes, 25 or even maybe, yeah, 25 years. I know this song so yeah about the reason why I count it 25 years because I know the song before I came to this country and I've spent at least 19 years in this country now I'm going to 20 years so I just count it because I know it's way back way long time ago so I I might not remember the whole thing I might be jumping I might not sing it properly but please guys bear with me any of you that know the song please just let me know the the title of the song if it's on youtube so that i will learn it more is this to be one of one of my favorites when i was back in nigeria and i'm going to sing it it's a yoruba song not english and after i finish singing it i'm going to translate it for you guys the many okay i'll try i'll try okay i'll try so mommy. Mommy, <laughs> Majen kawa lori sukun, majen fashaw afobora, 
Ogun raju jeraju mu mama je o je ti temi alafia pipe ni mo fe fita mi lore jerun ri na jerun ri lo baba wa se mi logo da bo olorun mi da bo eh eh da bo olorun mi da bo eh 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 da bo olorun mi da bo na pa it's as if I'm holding my breath when I'm singing. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to, you know, stream my voice for you guys. We have not finished, yo. Let me sing one more. I'll do a year to rap. <coughs> Sorry, it's very spicy here. I'll do a year to rap. Koni le koko mwa. I'll do a year to rap. Koni le koko mwa. Onti ya da wale. Ayoni, bogbonti ya bere, lulu wa yoshe. Odun iya tu ra kuni le koko mwa. Maja kawo lori sunku, maja fasho afobora. Ogura ju jera ju mu mama jero jeti tiwa alafi ya kipe ni ya fe pita wa lori. Jari no jari lo papa wa she wa lagum da pa alarmi da pa eh 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 da pa alarmi okay guys um meaning of the song just <coughs> sorry my voice is a bit weird today right right the song is just saying that uh. Although, yeah, like this year will be a good year for us, a joyful year. It's not going to be hard on us. Uh, everything and anything we lay our hands on, um, it shall turn to joy. It shall turn to joy. Anything we ask, everything we ask, God shall do it. Um, and I'll sing mad like we should not see any bad, any um, you know, difficulties and all that. That's just meaning of the song, right? All right, so we are still here cooking, and we are going to be mixing our sauce as you guys can see. I think this has been cooking on for the past, it's more than 15 minutes though, because it's been boiling. <clears throat> Before I start putting the yam, the plantain, and uh, and I dance for you guys. So, so I have one maggi. I'm just going to open it. I'm just using one maggi. One is enough for the quantity of the fish. I'm cooking two fish. So, and um, you guys, you know. Plantain. One of the plantain has ripe, so it will give it. It will give it that sweetness. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. If my voice is not good, my voice is not always like that. You know. I have a good voice. It just happened today that my voice was like that. So I'm just waiting for. I think I'm going to leave it for another five minutes. Then. I'll start adding the other every orish orish stuff I meant to add. Okay. So guys, I'm back. I'm going to be using aromat. If my this thing needs salt, if it needs salt, I'm going to be replacing it with aromat. And you guys, don't let us forget or get carried away that we've already seasoned our fish with salt. So whatever salt or whatever seasoning we need to put, we need to be careful. So we don't want it to sweet you know what i mean not too sweet i mean we are too sweet we don't want to add too much sweet because we're already we are already sweet right guys right okay we're gonna taste mm. don't worry guys i've already tasted it already picture it how it will be so what i'm gonna do i'm going to add the plantain and the yam so it can you guys see it 
I want to make sure you can see it. So I'm going to add it. So everything will cook at the same time. Then you have time to be, you know what I mean, guys. Yeah. You guys don't let me talk too much. Some of you don't like when I talk too much. <laughs> you say, Janet, you're talking too much. Just go straight to the point. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Going straight to the point. Um, can you guys see? She's a lady. Oh, oh, oh she's a lady. So I'm gonna be adding my fish. Yeah, I just want everything to cook at the same time. You know, there's no time of coming back or going back. Delicious. So the fish should be on top. Can you guys see? Yeah. I want to make sure that everything is inside the sauce properly. So everybody will be happy. The yam will be happy. The plantain will be happy. Bless me, and the fish will be happy, <laughs> and I will be happy, and you guys will be happy. Okay, that's that. So, I'm going to allow this to cook for about five seven minutes and i will come back to taste it if you need once it start boiling sure once it start boiling okay if you need more seasoning i'll be adding aromas as i said i won't be adding any uh chicken no, or any other seasoning if you need salt it's aromas i'll be using to replace you can find it on amazon on or on ebay if you can't find it in your superstore but here i find it in my african store or i find it in superstore sometimes but i prefer buying it in my african store than supermarket i don't know why i don't know so i'm still waiting i'm gonna this will be the last thing i'll add so i'll just say the word okay so that is that okay guys okay oh yeah i need to close it wow so this has been boiling for the past um about eight nine minutes now so i'm going to just taste it the fish is half cooked the yam too is half cooked yeah i want everything to to cook at the same time so i'm gonna taste it if you need salt or seasoning salt To be honest, I don't think you need anything. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to cook for maybe another 15 minutes. It's been cooking for the past 10 minutes now, so another 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes. It's on medium, medium cook. So, guys, as you guys can see, it's ready. So, what I'm going to do, I'll be adding this. I'm going to just turn off the cooker sorry guys it didn't take 15 minutes this is 10 minutes later and I can see the fish is ready it's ready I don't want it to be too I don't want it to be raw you know so that's that cannot be better so now it's ready just waiting for Hobbit to come home and I'll serve him his dinner I'm probably gonna have some as well because it's so delicious i'm gonna have it too so guys that is it in this video i'm gonna end it here because hobby will so come inside the house and i love you all i'll see you guys in my next video if you like me to be doing this kind of video doing dress up and cooking husband favorite sometime even my favorite <laughs> sometimes my kids favorite sometimes it could be the whole family favorite let me know and i'll be happy to do it for you guys and also they keep coming back like 
I love you all. I love you guys so much. Love you all. Mm, love. Mm. I'll see you guys.